Deep in the humid jungles of French Guinea in 1926, a captured chimpanzee is strapped to a table, awaiting an injection of human seed. This procedure was not a rogue scientist's madness. It was the first deliberate step in a state-sanctioned Soviet plan to engineer a new species of soldier, a tireless, fearless ape-man army. It was a formal, funded project at the highest levels of the Bolshevik government, an attempt to weaponize evolution itself. The goal was to create a creature with the strength of an ape, but the mind of a human, a living weapon that felt no pain, required little food, and followed any order. The central terrifying question that haunted the next decade was not if it was possible, but if they had already succeeded. The project was born from the ideological furnace of the new Soviet Union. In the early 1920s, the Bolsheviks weren't just building a new country, they were forging a new reality. They held a quasi-religious...